Hey guys, welcome to Fishy Business. Hey, I'm Chuck Mayer, welcome to Fishy Business. We're gonna give you a tour today, kind of of what it is we do here and the place. So uh, come with me and we'll show you what's going on. This is the Koi Pond in the main entrance way. This is everybody's favorite spot at Fishy Business where they get to feed the fish and kind of see all the different varieties of koi that we have. Now what about this tank over here walking in? This is the tank we're working on, which is the future stingray tank. We have fish in it, kind of getting it ready biologically. We haven't actually got it completely established yet, but we're working on it to give some kind of a balance between the pond and the main entrance way when you come in. Walking in, it looks a little bit small, but as you turn the corner, the place is huge. Yeah, this is where it opens up into what is our main display area. And the, the store is basically divided into two parts. The dry goods section, which is where we have all of our show aquariums, all of the nice stands and canopies and pieces that we do. And then the back is set with all the fish. So I'll kind of take you through that right here. We're working into the main display area, which is overrun right now because of Christmas with all the tanks, stands, and canopies. But Fishy Business has the ability to make things to where we can put a nice display aquarium in your home or office in such a way that it masks a uh, piece of furniture. Do you have someone custom make these? Absolutely. We have uh, Chad La Rochelle, which is our main cabinet maker. Uh, he can do anything. Uh, absolutely amazing woodworker. A lot of the new things that we have are built around customizing some different types of examples. Right here is the Coastal. This is our newest model. Kind of to give a kind of a beachy feel. So if you've got a place on the lake or you just love the ocean, you love that shiplap look, this is the latest design. Really cool double access. To get in, to make it very easy to work on. This is amazing. Can you come to my home and install this? We can do it. We can do it. One of the things that we do, uh, I do this with my partner, Mike, is that we service aquariums every day. Uh, during the week, Monday through Friday, that's pretty much all I do is install, take care of tanks and homes, offices, the like. So as you walk through, you're going to see a bunch of different designs, some more contemporary, some more traditional. We have my personal favorite, the Gothic. This was actually modeled after a bed design, but I think it is probably the most flamboyant of stands that Chad has done. But it looks beautiful with an aquarium in it. And then the bookcase, which has been one of our more popular models as it's inset into two cabinets, as if it's inset into a wall, but not. Then as you round the corner, this one was just sold. This is gonna be an absolutely beautiful freshwater aquarium. This is the Hamilton. This is one of the highlights. Do they know what they'll be putting in the tank? Uh, we've got a general idea, but you never really know until you get it set up. And then sometimes just like a painting or a piece of art, it kind of takes place in one shot. And then you come, you come to the canvas with an idea and then you develop it into something that maybe you is part of that idea or is a completely different idea. I hope we get photos when it's finished. You will, absolutely. Right here is the main focal point of our freshwater section. This is where our live plants are. Now who does the aquascaping here? Kevin Walker. Kevin Walker is does, takes care of everything. He's the manager of the freshwater section. He's got over 30 years experience. Our plants are a little thin right now but we've got a new shipment coming in this Friday and he pretty much takes care of everything having to deal with fresh water. So if you need something special ordered, if we don't have it with all the tanks we have, uh, he, you can get put on a list and we can get it for you. One of the best things that you can do with a freshwater environment or saltwater environment is make it as natural as possible. A lot of people like to do a lot of fake things in a tank, which is perfectly fine, but for those that want the more natural environment and to replicate nature, this is where we're at with the live plants. We can, we can recreate little creek beds, we can recreate lake scenes, we can recreate a lot of things with the knowledge that we have here at Fishy Business. 
One of the coolest things people are doing now are these small little neocardinia shrimp. They come in all kinds of different colors, blues, yellows, red, clear. They're really cool and you can do it in a very, very small aquarium. Something that can sit on your desktop, uh, something that can sit on a nightstand. They make really amazing tanks. Really pretty live plants can bolster any aquarium and make it look very natural. It also relaxes the fish. And if you really want to get the most color out of freshwater fish, which tend to be a lot less colorful than saltwater, the best way to do it is with live plants. The more that you can replicate an environment as nature, the better it's going to be. As we round the corner, you can see what would be a natural Amazonian planted tank with just angelfish. Very simple, but these are all sword plants. Uh, these are all angelfish. We've kept the tank very simple. Using a really good gravel or a really nice laterite base helps the plants as far as constantly feeding them. What would you say is the best substrate for a planted aquarium? I am in love with Fluval's gravel, the Stratham gravel. Uh, this right here. We also love sea kims, but this is one of my favorites just because of the porosity of it how small it is and the visual that it gives. It has a very black, brown, black look to it. If you have a dark background, a dark bottom, everything else is gonna bounce off of that. It's gonna pop when you look at it. Now coming around here to, this is the first wall of fish that you find here. This is our normal community freshwater fish tank. A lot of small tetras, small grommies, loaches, small Corydoras catfish. These represent, again, a community type aquarium where all these different fish go together and pair very well. These are where you see most of your schooling fish, fish that you can keep in large numbers, which looks really pretty in an aquarium. And moving right on down, you get to kind of the semi-aggressives, the barbs and things like that, where it gets a little more aggressive. But there's lots of varieties. This is a good place to start if you've never had an aquarium. Uh, very inexpensive fish. A good way to learn the basics of aquarium keeping, water quality, things like that. I've always preached that there's no prerequisite from doing one type of tank to another. The adage that I always use is, if you want the Corvette, you don't need to buy the Camaro, just save up for the Corvette. That's very true with salt water. Uh, personally, all I've ever done in my home has been salt water because that's what I always wanted to do. So you can come to the table as long as you're willing to spend a little bit of money, even having no experience with salt water and do salt water. Uh, the same is true with fresh water. You don't necessarily have to even have the aspiration of doing salt water. If, if just having a beautiful aquarium is what you want, fresh water is the way to go. Moving through here, this is where we tend to keep the live bearers, the rainbows, some of the more specific fish that we sell, catfish, things like that. As we come around this corner, this is where we keep most of the aggressive fish. All the African cichlids, South American cichlids, any of your big Central and South Americans are right here. Probably the most colorful of freshwater fish, excluding discus, are your African cichlids. These are very popular with our service accounts as we can make a tank look like it's salt water without it actually being salt water. And they're great from a, from a visual standpoint. They don't tend to run and hide, they tend to stay out. And you can get so many different colors. What would you say you specialize in? We specialize in anything having to do with aquaria, whether it's installation, whether it's tank design, whether it's fish management. Anything that has to do with aquariums is, is our specialty. We don't do reptiles for that reason. We don't do dogs and cats. We have stayed focused for 35 years on one specific thing, and that's to make aquarium keeping easy for everybody. We've gone through most of the things that you can do wrong, so we definitely give good advice when it comes to what to do right. And that's our main focus here is taking someone who knows nothing, whether it's salt water, fresh water, whether it's the simplest thing or the most difficult and making it possible for you to create whatever is in your head. But if you come this way, uh, everything that we do starts right here with the testing station. We urge everybody that comes into fishy business, bring us a sample of your water if you're buying fish. 
obviously we need to check and know that the environment that we're putting these fish in or that we're selling you is a good one. And we will keep you from buying stuff if we don't think you can keep it alive. Obviously there's no point in selling you something that's just going to die. And our number one goal is the health and longevity of whatever it is that we're selling you. So everything kind of starts right here at the testing station. Um, and from there we can get an idea of what's going on in your tank, whether it's a problem, whether everything's going okay, what species compatibility, um, and we kind of go from there. So this is the most important little section of the store. Moving right in here is our saltwater section. This is what we're known for, I think, because we keep such a heavy amount of saltwater fish, and even more so corals, live corals. Guy Griffin has done an amazing job of creating these coral reefs where we have, at any given time, hundreds upon hundreds of different corals to sell in every style and every color imagining you can have. Most every coral we have in here, if not all at any given time, are farm raised, simply meaning that we're not pulling a lot of stuff out of the ocean. Corals that we've had for a while and that we've made cuttings off of and have absolute, actually farmed more pieces from. So most of what you're seeing as you walk around are formed corals. So A, we haven't taken anything out of the wild and B, we're producing what I think is a healthier animal because it's only known captivity. This is the latest addition to the store. And by a latest addition, I only mean in the last year, year and a half. But this back room, we've just expanded all these new tanks where we keep discus. It's absolutely beautiful. We don't have very many at the moment. Um, we've just had a big sale, but we get them from time to time and they go in these three tanks. On this wall, Kevin does an absolutely fantastic job of keeping us with a lot of nice varieties of goldfish, which are very long-lived fish and typically we all have koi and stuff like that. Now I did notice a little bit earlier the sick tanks. What if my fish is sick, can I bring it to you? No. <laughs> we do not take in sick fish and we try not to sell them as well. But in the process of having service accounts or having situations where uh, a new batch of fish comes in, occasionally we will get sick fish that we didn't even have in the beginning and we have to put them through a quarantine system. So yes, unfortunately, we do have tanks for sick fish, but it's so we can control them, uh, get them better. Back on this wall right here, we have, uh, this is where we keep all of our invertebrates, shrimp, snails, all kind of hermit crabs, all the other little things you see in the ocean are pretty much kept back here because uh, we can keep them separate and it's just much easier to take care of them back here. On the far wall over here, more cichlids, larger African cichlids. And then we get to the fun part, which is the, uh, I guess you could say this is the uh, central nervous system of fishy business. This is where we, have, we make all of our salt water and fresh water, uh, DI. We have more sick tanks. One of the coolest new things we have is our uh, lemonade, our reef lemonade, which is made from rotifer cultures, brine shrimp, all kinds of microscopic plankton organisms, things like that. This is where it's made back here. And this is where the service crew pretty much does all their thing. What about your water changes? Do you have it on a system or is it all manual? Unfortunately, it's all manual and it's every week. So every aquarium you see in the store has to have a water change every week. So this is what we do when we're not actually helping you with a fish problem or selling a fish, is it's constant uh, laborious work as far as doing the water changes and stuff to keep everything healthy. And we have such a constant flow of fish coming in and out that we have to stay on top of it constantly. So we know something about maintenance. Do you have any live rocks? I do, actually right behind you. I have these two vats. Right now it's a little thin because we didn't get anything last week. We had the leftovers from the week before, but we have a lot of Haitian rock. We have a lot of base rock. This is where we bring it in and if necessary, cure it. Not all the time it needs to be cured, but that's a process in which there's a big dying off part with the live rock and that way it gets done in here, not inside your fish tank, so it's ready to go. But right back here is where we cure and bring in all the live rock before it hits the floor or your house. One of the number one goals at Fishy Business is, or the most important goal for us, is educating 
which whoever the Aquarius is, so that we can create exactly what's in your head or something better than what's in your head for your aquarium, be it in your home, your office, wherever that is. All the time that we've spent is to make that experience good for you so that we've already taken all the problems and trouble and things like that out of it. If you have questions, call us. You can reach out via email. You can reach out on our Facebook. You can come in the store. That's the best thing to do because that's where I can actually help you the most and the longest. But there's no limit to the time that we'll spend with you to help you get where it is you want to go with your aquarium. If there's something that you're worried about as far as a fish that you really want to keep but you don't know a lot about it, put that on us. That's what we're here for. So what would be the reason someone would come to your store over another store here in South Carolina? Unquestionably the amount of experience that we have. Everybody here has anywhere between 10 to 35, 40 years and that's each person. Uh, we've, we've done everything you can do wrong so it very much limits the amount of problems that you can have just by running through our brains of, of what mistakes we've made. Uh, we've got about a 95% accuracy rate. We know what we're doing. Not everything, not perfect, but we're getting there. So that's a quick peek kinda at what we do here at Fishy Business. I know it's not long and drawn out, but it gives you some idea. We're a 5,000 square foot store. We've been here for 35 years. We know we can help you with whatever design is in your mind or whatever thoughts you have about having an aquarium in your home, office, wherever. Uh, you can see these guys right here. They trust us. We have to keep them alive every day. Thanks for coming. Thanks for uh, giving us a little bit of your time for watching this. So how about subscribe to our channel? Uh, we'll be bringing you updates every single week, seeing a few things behind the scenes, what goes on here at Fishy Business. You can look at the contact information below, get in touch with us if you have any questions, or you just want to entertain maybe setting up an aquarium or you've got a problem with something. Please reach out to us and I'm signing off here. Have a great day.